channel. So tonight I am going to be sharing with you another recipe video. You guys seem to really, really like the one I did before, the healthy chicken parmesan. So I am just going to keep these videos rolling. I just want to keep cranking them out for you guys because I just want to show you that it's totally doable to make, you know, a weeknight healthy meal. Anyone can do it. It really is not that bad. Honestly, the biggest key is just buying everything, you know, ahead of time, grocery shop on the weekend and get everything you need for the week so that way you can just come home from work or, you know, come home from the gym, whatever it is, and just get right into it. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into tonight's dietitian approved dinner and tonight I am going to be making barbecue salmon with roasted, roasted, roasted Brussels sprouts and a sweet potato for me and a regular potato for Matt. Alright guys, so first things first, you're going to grab a cutting board so we can slice up the Brussels sprouts. Uh, this is about 10 ounces of Brussels sprouts, just so you're aware. I'm going to start by cutting them mainly into halves. Um, some of the bigger ones I did cut into quarters, just so they cook more evenly. And if you're anything like me, you love to listen to music while you cook dinner. I love the Ed Sheeran Pandora station, it just makes me feel so relaxed and I enjoy cooking that much more. Then you're just going to throw all of those Brussels sprouts onto a lined baking sheet. I'm just patting them with water because I used um, frozen ones that I thawed. And if they're really like sopping wet, they're not going to crisp up well. And so then we're just going to take some olive oil and drizzle just a bit of that on. And then once it's all drizzled, get in there and just start mixing them up so they're all evenly coated in the olive oil. Then make sure just to spread them all out just so they crisp up really nice and then you're going to go ahead and pop them in the oven. I preheat the oven for 400 degrees and then bake them for 30 to 35 minutes. And while they start to bake, go and get stuff done. I pack my lunch, I wash the cutting board, wash other dishes, and I think this is really key to making the weeknight meal work for you. You just really have to use your time wisely. After about 20 minutes, I will heat up a pan and stick some olive oil on there. And then next, what I'd like to use is a little bit of fennel seed. And I just think this makes the salmon taste so much better when you add this on. Matt doesn't like it, so I don't put it on his, but I will sprinkle this into the pan first. And as you can see, I only try and sprinkle it on one half of the pan, just because Matt doesn't like them. But you're just gonna let them kind of toast just for about a minute. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and stick your salmon portions in there. Next, you're going to want to grab your barbecue sauce. This Stubbs Original Barbecue Sauce is my favorite lately. It only has 4 grams of sugar and 240 milligrams of sodium per serving, which is far less than most of, of the other barbecue sauces I was seeing in the store. Um, so this is one that I like to use. So you're just going to go ahead and put a little bit on each salmon portion and then just with the back of a spoon, I'm just spreading it out. And then go ahead, put a lid and cover, and I'm going to cook them for about six to eight minutes on each side. Next, I'm going to cook up some potatoes. These individually wrapped potatoes are able to be cooked in the microwave, so it's just little convenient foods like this that make weeknight meals a lot more easy and accessible, so that is why I buy these kind of potatoes. I'm just going to pop these bad boys in the microwave. It's said to cook for about six minutes per potato, so that is what I did. Then moving back to the salmon, it is time to flip them over. So you're just going to flip it onto the other side, pretty straightforward, and then again cook for another six to eight minutes. Um, I probably ended up cooking more along the lines of six minutes. And I do like to add just a little bit more barbecue sauce on the other side, just so it can really caramelize on both sides. Oh, it's just so good. And after about six minutes, I will just flip the salmon one last time and just cook it for like one minute on that side, just so that barbecue sauce can really caramelize. And then after that minute, you are completely done with the salmon. This is what it looks like. And let me tell you, it is so good. It is about that time to pull those Brussels sprouts out of the oven. Roasted Brussels sprouts are so good. They are easily my favorite and probably really the only way I like to eat them and I like mine super super crispy as you can see you don't have to cook them that much but I just think they're so good that way so now that the potatoes are done cooking in the microwave I'm just going to very carefully peel off that plastic because it is super hot it gets very steamy inside of that plastic casing and then I'm just going to start to plate up our dinner starting obviously with the potatoes first and I'm just gonna grab some of those roasted Brussels sprouts oh my god let me tell you guys, these are so good. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but they kind of taste like french fries. And then I'm just grabbing a little bit of butter for my sweet potato. 
A lot of times what I like to do is put almond butter and a little bit of cinnamon or peanut butter on my sweet potatoes and it's delicious, but I just wasn't feeling it that night. So here is the final meal, you guys. Trust me when I say it is delicious. So here we go, guys. This is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so excited to go eat this right now. It smells so good, and I'm so excited to eat these Brussels sprouts because they are literally the crispiest ever. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these, and especially let me know if you try out this dinner. This is so good. Seriously, this is like my favorite way to eat salmon at home. So again, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more like it. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Savannah.